Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to another shocker tutorial. And I haven't made one in a while, but uh, I probably will make a few over the next few weeks. Because I do have a long list to make, so I have to get on with that. So In this tutorial, we're going to be doing a simple spin transition, but it does look really good in montages. So uh, without further ado, let's just get into the video. So basically, I want to create a transition between these two clips uh, where it spins. That's really easy to do. All you gotta do is use a method that I use in my other transitions video, which is um, take uh, go to the middle of the clip. By that you can uh, by uh, um, so what you wanna do is you first you wanna go to the center of both clips, like in between each clip, and you can do that by hitting this button. It'll take you to the center, and you can do this actually with any clip, and it'll, uh, it basically just it's it's good for um, cutting clips if you ever need to use it. So. What we want to do is we want to go in between each clip. And then we're going to hit the five. We're going to hit the right arrow five times, which will go five frames. And um, we can cut it there. We're going to reset back to our original position and do it the same with the left side. So we have these two really small clips. And basically, what we want to do is select one of them. So you're going to have to zoom into the timeline for this because these clips will probably be really small. So once you zoom to the timeline, select the clip and go to the beginning of the first small clip that we cut. We can then open the keyframe section, so we should have that open. I forgot to open that, but we have it here. And we're going to we're gonna add the filter, size, position, and rotate. And I think you guys know where this is going. We can uh, zoom into the keyframes. And we're going to set a keyframe for the rotation area. So let's just do that. And we're also going to set a keyframe for the size, the zoom, size, and position. Right now, first let's do the rotation. We're going to go to the end of this uh, mini clip, our first mini clip, by hitting this button. It'll let's see, it takes the end of this clip, and we're going to set the rotation to about 180. Um, I mean, exactly 180. Then we're going to go back to the beginning, and what we're going to do with the uh, position, size, and zoom uh, keyframe. As, as you can see, when it's rotating, wait, when it's rotating, it has these black uh, spaces around. That's because, you know, the clip is being rotated. So to do that, we're going to fill it by zooming in. So we're going to uh, hit the right arrow once, so it takes us to the next frame. And you can see there's a lot of black space here. So we're going to set this to about, I do 189, right? And that covers up. You can try it at different numbers, but 189 perfectly covers it up. Then we're going to go to the next frame. Right, wait, right there, and you can see that there's more black space. So we're gonna make that about 200. That's what I do, 201 around. That is perfect. Now we're gonna do the same for the next frame. For for next frame, um, you can keep it 201 since it's uh, it's gonna be like kind of like a, it'll be like the same than the last frame since it doesn't change. So we can just keep it 201, really. Then for the next one. We're going to go back to 189 because it's going to go back. And then for the final frame of the clip, we're going to uh, set it back to the default zoom, which was 100. Now you can see everything we did right here. You can see it right here. We did the rotation. You can see it goes up from 0 to 180. And you can see that there's little keyframe uh, markers here. And each of them is set to zoom in so that the black spaces don't show. So we did the first one right here, it's the default. This one right here is 189. This one right here is 200. This one right here is also 200. This one's 189. And the final one is back to default. We're going to do that exact same thing to the next clip, except the rotation by default should be set to 180. Before we frame it, make sure that the rotation is set to 180. So it's upside down, and then keyframe it, and also keyframe the zoom. And then we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to move to the first clip right here, hitting the right arrow, right? Um, actually, no, first we have to do the rotation. So we're first we're going to go to the end of the clip and make the rotation go to 360. This way, it goes to 0 to 180, then 180 to 360. So it will go in a full circle. Um, we go back to the beginning of the clip and we fill in the black spaces just like I did with the first clip. Now once we're done with that, this should look exactly the same. So we have six keyframe markers here. Um, the first one being 100, second one 189, the two middles 200, 
the fifth one, 189, and the final one, the default, which is 100. And then we also have right here, we can see the rotation goes from 180 all the way to 360. Now, if we see this transition, you can see it's a, uh, it kind of does like this uh, spin, right? And it doesn't render that well, but um, you can see if I just do it like frame by frame, it does a spin. And now, that's the basic spin. Now you can add a bunch of other effects. So, for example, I could add the RGB shift effect. So, this would basically, you know, make it look like this. But we're going to just mess around with the settings a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set vertical to 50. We're going to make this... Uh, we're gonna make this 50 as well, and we're gonna make it like so right now it's default But we're gonna make it go into the shift like that shift effect So we're gonna set to the end of the clip We're going to set both of these to 45 because that's a nice number and It looks like this It starts default um, no like glitchy effect, and then it kind of like transitions into it We got this clip and you can do the same with this clip and you can basically customize these with any. I'm just showing this RGB effect. You can do this with any effect. And yeah, that's basically it. It's a very short tutorial, but it's a really nice transition. I do use it in my montage, as you guys seen it. It's also a very popular transition, and transitions in Shotcut aren't really easy to do. You know, they're not like Filmora, where you have a section where you can just pick out transitions and place them in. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a like if it did uh, help and you're going to use this in your montage. You can uh, tell me down below. Uh, a sub to the channel would be amazing because I do a lot of shotgun tutorials and I'm one of the only channels that does Fortnite montage related shotgun tutorials. So uh, why not subscribe, you know, get that premium quality content. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.